How do you do Kajabi SEO? Hey guys, how are you? My name is Harrison Barron, The Million Entrepreneur, and in this video, like I said, how do you do Kajabi SEO? Well, turns out that I am a Kajabi SEO expert. How do I know this? Because I go in the Facebook forums all the time, and turns out that I seem to be one of the very few that knows exactly what you need to do for your Kajabi SEO. So, instead of selling you guys a product, I'm literally going to give you every little bit of information that you're possibly going to need for your Kajabi SEO. Now, this is gonna be broken up into a multi-video series. So, with that being said, make sure you hit the like button so that way you at least have the opportunity of seeing this again. Hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you don't miss the other videos that are going to be following in this sequence. So, the first part is your actual on-page Kajabi and that is literally what you have to do inside of Kajabi. The next video is going to be a little bit about page structure, and then there's going to be a third and potentially a fourth video, depending on how far I get through that. So this is exactly what you need to do on your Kajabi website. Now, why do you need to do this? What is SEO? SEO is search engine optimization, and this is exactly what you're going to need to do on there. It is simple. Like I said, I'm going to cover it. And you're going to be like, that's it? And the answer is yes. It is that simple to do. But here's the thing. If you don't do this, you will not show up on Google pretty much at all. Google does not show websites that don't have titles or meta descriptions. That's really the core of it. So you have to do this in order to show up on Google. Now, if you run a business where you're just driving ads to your Kajabi website, great. But if you're not, or if you want the opportunity to get more leads to your website, this is the free way of doing it, right? I'm giving you this away for free. It doesn't cost you a dollar other than paying for Kajabi. Now I am going to be using one program in here called copysmith.ai. It is a copywriting uh, AI software that is going to make your life a million times easier, but you don't need it. So without any further ado, let's jump into my computer here. And this is your back end of Kajabi. I'm sure you're perf you should be familiar with it, right? And this is really where the magic happens. So this is going to be for my personal website. It's going to be harrisonbaron.com. And in here, right, this is, this is built on Kajabi. There are several areas that you need to be aware of. So the first area on here is actually in your settings area, and you're going to go to site details. Now, this manages all of your SEO for your pre-built website area. When I say your pre-built website area, when you click this button, it drops down. I just don't want to be brought over to it. That is what it's controlling right here, right? This whole area right here is what it's controlling. Now, take it or leave it. If you like that, great. If you don't like that, great. Either way, this is what Kajabi allows you to do. So you can add your code in here if you need to add any code in here. And then this is where your SEO and sharing is going to come into play. Now, they call it a page description. It's called a meta description. This is the page title. This is what Google actually sees when they're showing people. So let me show you what this looks like. If I go to Harrison, if I could spell my own name right, harrisonbaron.com, right? Or better yet, not harrisonbaron.com. But if I go over here, you'll actually be able to see Harrison Barron. Are you curious to know how to learn? Uh, you know, this is my website, right? Why it just says my name, I still have yet to figure that out because it doesn't say my name right here. But either way, totally fine, right? I don't know if it's pulling it from the instructor area. Definitely something that they may need to look into. But either way, you have your page title and your page description. Your page description is going to be this part right here. And then your page title is going to be this part right here, right? My personal blog where I cover everything you need to know. Harris Mariners LinkedIn expert. You're going to see that part right after this. So first things first, you need a page title. This is going to be what your entire website is about. Do not think too much into it. The reason why I say that is because it's very rare that homepages rank except for their name. So if you are an interesting name like Kajabi, Wix, Squarespace, you're going to come up first, right? Because there's really no competition in that space and it wouldn't make sense for people to try to compete with you in that space. So you just want to give people a overall what is the title. And then the second thing is going to be your page description. Are you curious to know how to close more deals, get more clients to reach out and make better uh, content? I teach you everything you need to know. No, weirdly enough, that's exactly what I do, right? And then you have your page image, which is going to be your logo. So that's it. This is the first thing you're going to need to do for your homepage. Everything else matters for your website, but it doesn't matter when it comes to SEO. That's it. The second thing you're going to end up doing is you're going to go in here and then you're going to go to blog settings. Remember that little area where I said uh, my personal blog right there? Boom, there it is, right? So in here, my personal blog where I cover everything you need to know, boom, page description, and then your page image. Now you don't need to use a custom image on here. I chose to use a custom image on here. 
totally up to you. Don't think too much into it. Now, before I continue, I do want to show you guys one little trick. And that one little trick is going into an AI software, right? So this is my blog, my personal blog, where I cover everything uh, you need to know to grow, right? Because it's literally what I teach. And then you're going to come in here. So this is copyspit.ai. This is the homepage. I uh, obviously do not label any of the work that I've done, but that's okay. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the top right. And then in here, there is going to be a meta description area. So SEO meta tag, how ironic, that's what we need. But if you're looking for other things, this is a phenomenal platform. I've already done several trainings on it, but I, I think that AI is really undervalued. Now, a lot of people really struggle with the thought of, of, um, using AI and, and it seems kind of difficult. So just a little page description, right? This is going to be the title. I'm just going to the page that it's actually going to be on. So it, do you have to do this? Not necessarily. I mean, you have to put in like you could put in your homepage and then company name is just me. Um, it's, it's a personal brand. So I, I don't, it doesn't really need anything. And then if there's any keywords in there, this is where it actually gets a little important. If you could put a couple keywords in your title and meta description, this is where you're going to have the most success with it. So if I, it says I need a keyword in here, so maybe it's uh, content creation. All right, and then we're gonna hit enter and then we'll generate. Now this typically takes about 15 seconds. And, and once again, I've done several trainings on this and how to use it and how to leverage this, but you can create amazing content, right? And, and it's going to give you exactly what you, should, what you should have for your website. So how to create content that people actually want to read and share, right? Perfect. Uh, I mean, something similar to that, the ultimate guide to content creation, how I turned zero to a full-time income. Weirdly enough, that's also true. And then the other part that I'm looking for is these gray words right underneath. This is really where the magic happens. Now it's giving me multiple ways to do this, but learn content marketing lessons uh, from my mistakes. These lessons uh, that took me uh, years to learn, right? This is the important stuff. Now keep in mind also, it's going to uh, recommend characters. Your title should be really between, and Kajabi actually does a pretty good job with this, but they tell you that it should be between 60 and 70 characters long. I really recommend between 50 and 66 characters is the number. Uh, if you go over, you go under, it's okay. But 66, it's actually like the, the amount of pixels that are in there is usually where the cutoff is. It's rare that you can get the 70. So if you want it to not be truncated where it, it kind of cuts everything off in Google search, uh, where is a good example here? Um, that's that's going to just pull up pictures of me. Hey, there's my dog. Um <laughs> Is it going to show me, uh, me? Yeah, there it is. So you see the three dots right there. You see the three dots right there. Uh, that is an, a prime example of truncation where it's cutting that off. So just keep that in mind when you're using this. But this is going to make your life easier. Now, I would spend a lot of time going through this and probably adding a little bit more to my, my company description. But it gives you the gist of it. So if you're struggling with this, but essentially you want it to be where somebody can read that when they visit Google, right? Just like I visited Google on the first page and understand what they're getting into. Now this matters more per page than it does for the homepage and the blog, but the homepage and the blog do get a little bit of traffic and it's what people share out. So keep that in mind. They're going to be sharing it. So you want it to look good. So you have page title, page description. Once again, they recommend 150 to 160 characters. I would argue to say that 140 to 170 is really the sweet spot in there. Don't think that you can't go over. I mean, you can go over a little bit, but once again, it's going to be truncated either way, not a big deal at all. That's going to be the second area that you are going to be working on your SEO. Now, the rest of the site just has a couple other areas, specifically one other area that you need to worry about. And that one other area, right, it's actually not in your design. What it's going to be located in is your pages and your blog. Those are the two. And I consider pages because you have to go in and do this on every single page. If you plan on having that page rank in Google, if you don't want Google to rank it, make sure you don't do this on that page. But let's just say, uh, let's just use a, a generic opt-in here. Uh, I'm gonna click on this and then it's going to pop up some information here. I probably just made this on mistake. Clearly the, the, the data is not filled in yet. And the cool part is you can go in here, you can hit edit details, and this is where you're going to do your SEO and sharing, right? Page title, page description. Once again, the exact same information, a nice catchy page title, a nice pe uh, catchy page description, right? So that way when somebody copies it and pastes it into Facebook or another messenger or platform, it actually shows the data that's in there. 
once again, you want to keep this, you want to just be careful because you may not want this on Google. If you don't want this on Google, just leave it blank. For example, if it's a training page or something like that where you don't want Google to actually show it out, you want people to follow through the funnel, this is where you would go for that. Now, the only other area is actually going to be in your blog setting. Now, I've already preloaded these just to make our lives easier. But in here, you'll see like uh, Kajabi SEO and the new Google update. That's kind of this new article that I just wrote and published. But why your customer reviews are not showing up, right? So this is an article. It's kind of in a rough draft mode. I still have yet to go through it. But I wrote it and, it, and, it's, and it's a good rough outline of what I want. Now, in here, right, you have your page title. You have your page URL, page title, and page description. So what I could do is, once again, I'm just going to copy this. Uh, I'm very much so into being a little bit on the lazy side here uh, to make my life a little bit easier. So I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to copy this. Let's just play around and see what happens. I'm going to just give it as much information as I possibly can. And it's just going to generate content here. So it's probably not going to give me the most accurate information I probably want, but the description's a bit long, could determine. Uh, okay, so it's, it's too long. So let's just go with the first paragraph on here. Uh, and, and we'll copy that and paste that into it. And this is really the easiest way to do this. Now, the other thing that I would recommend is if you don't want to do this or you, you want the shortcut, just go on Google and see what other people are typing. So uh, we'll use one of my, my articles, pros and cons of Alignable. Right, and usually I'm in the top couple spots, yeah, there it is. So should you be on LinkedIn, Alignable, or both for business, right? This is my article. Now, you're not always going to have this ability to just know where it is on Google. I just happen to know that I'm ranking number two on here. But start reading what other people are writing. So Alignable, the worst spam bot social platform of all of mankind. <laughs> For those of you who are uh, using Alignable regularly, how does dot dot dot, right? Truncation, you got to be really careful with that. How do you advertise? What are the pros and cons? Alignable. Uh, should you be on LinkedIn, Alignable, or both for your business? Right. This may even be my post, possibly. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Um, so super cool. I own two of the top spots on Google. Um, I had just something to keep in mind, right? So look at what other people are ranking for for that page title and just write something similar. I'm a big fan of being lazy, so I'm just going to leverage this, right? How to get your customer reviews on Google, Facebook, and Yelp, right? Beautiful. I'm going to just copy that over because I do know that's pretty much what this entire article is about. And then I'm going to drop this right in there. And then uh, I'm going to actually go back. And then I'm just going to look for some content in here on the descriptions. This article explains what it takes to get your business on all three platforms with quality content that Google and Facebook will be able to pick up. Maybe not really. Google has made changes in their algorithm. Now uh, reviews don't show up. It's important to make customers aware of this change, right? That is literally exactly what this article is about. And then I'm just going to pop that in the description. Now, once again, it's kind of long. So I'm going to have to go back and trim this up, knowing that it's probably going to truncate out. And that's it. That's literally all that you can do as far as your Kajabi website. Those four main areas, right, are the four main spots that you need to go through to clean up. After you do that, it's totally up to content creation, blogging. What do you do after that? There, are, There's a lot of limitations on this. There's also some technical stuff on page and off page SEO. I will get into that over some time. I may make that right after this little series, but for the people that are like, hey, just give me the nitty gritty details. These are the four spots that you need to go into on Kajabi to start at least getting Google to show it out, right? I mean, it's pretty cool. And Google shows it out. Uh, I'll give you a quick little background of, of what it's going to look like here. But most people don't actually realize what, what it's going to look like when Google gives you traffic. So this is really cool. Uh, this is the last three months. But if I pull this out to, I don't know, let's say the last six months here, you'll actually be able to see a pretty consistent trend of not only uh, my traffic growing, but my total impressions growing. So Impressions have been growing pretty steadily over the last six months. I mean, you're talking about from 300-ish impressions per, per, per day to 1,600-ish, 1,300 to 1,800 impressions per day, with the most recent being 2,300 impressions per day, right? And then you'll actually see that the clicks pretty much follow in suit with that. So that's the, that's the perk of content creation. It's the perf perk of structuring your blog correctly, which I'm going to be covering in the next video. I just want to show you guys this. I think it's pretty interesting. And the really cool part is if I pull it out to 12 months, you'll actually really see some 
pretty ridiculous growth uh, that's that's come through, right? So this is what it'll look like. And and all you have to do is really make those four main changes. Everything else, this everything else that I'm about to teach you afterwards is just bonus for your website. But you have to make those four changes on your website. So I hope this helps. If you guys want to come hang out with me on Facebook, there's a link down below. And that's it. I mean, come check back for the next video. I'm going to probably put that in the description down below and probably the end screen and all that good stuff. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys found value. If you guys have questions about anything on Kajabi, Kajabi SEO, anything digital marketing, leave them down below. I'd be happy to help you guys out. Like, subscribe, share, notify, notify, notification bell. I'll see you guys later. Bye.